look at all this magma all this lava all this magma look how look at all the colors as well it's like a it is so hot Shaha, yeah. that it can roast your chicken in like 30 seconds yeah you can literally bring anything here and you can burn it like you can literally roast it in like once in a half a minute and this is a shield volcano uh yeah it has a broad has a, has a broad base and it's uh, shallow and generally it's, uh, slope sides uh, and this is like a diagram of how it explodes and these are the volcanic hot spots around the world and yeah and this is a volcano in Hawaii uh, as the islands of the Hawaiian of uh, archipelago or in the Pacific are the tips of giant shield volcanoes rising up from the ocean floor yeah that's the volcanoes of Hawaii it's amazing scenery this is geese Ah lava, ah ah lava. That's what it's called. Pella's hair. All these types of volcanoes and lava. Pahol, whole pa lava. This is about Mount uh, Vesuvius in Pompeii. Uh, in 79 AD, uh, it erupted, catapulting out a deadly cloud of molten rock, ash, and gases. In Pompeii, Italy, a volcano erupted, and it was a new moon that we were Here is some pumice and this large rock is actually very very light. This is some ignim bright pyroclastic that's flows. Nate, Nate, and that's Vesuvius. So yeah, these are just uh, types of volcanoes and reasons volcanoes form. Uh, again, this is and the aftermath and what happens after. These are uh, about uh, gas clouds.
So this is about the inside of the earth. So the the crust, the mantle, the core. These are uh, rocks which you can find uh, find there. Granite, gneiss, sandstone, quartz, peri peridotite. Uh, that's a very hard name. Garnet. This is a meteorite cut section. Wow. Wow. Some deep stuff. Aurorae in the polar regions are caught uh, when energetic charged particles impact with gas atoms in the upper atmosphere, making them glow. Depending on which gas atoms they hit and the energy transmitted to them, different colors are seen. Green is the most common and arises from oxygen gas, while nitrogen produces a, a blue or purplish red. So this is what happens when the two tectonic plates uh, collide, they start shaking against each other and this creates earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanoes and they've made this really nice model to show how it works. This is what happens after the earthquake. So this is how it works, the initial earthquake, then the tsunami approach, the tsunami impact, then the destruction of a city, and then the aftermath and the recovery. So yeah, the aftermath and the recovery. Look, this is like a news in that time when the earthquake was happening uh, from Japan. So this is a supermarket which has been impacted by the earthquake. This is about the Colby earthquake, which shows the uh, terrible impacts of natural disasters that occur in highly populated areas. Oh, 
thing is shaking as well. Whoa. Whoa. Look, all of this is shaking. Like, look, all of this is shaking right now. Everything is shaking. Look, look how, like, well made this is. Uh, that was the Kobe uh, earthquake. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Look, look how cool it is. Yeah. That, that. Look, and that's the, that's basically the a representation of the aftermath. Alright, so guys, this is a better view of the red dome that I was uh, talking about. It kind of represents like uh, sort of the magma and the lava of like a volcano. So that I think that's the goal they were trying to like the fuel they were going for. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, look look how nice it is. They've uh, the British Museum has worked uh, very hard on this, and I think it's a very good outcome uh, of the recent years of building. So yeah, uh, the lights and everything is good. Yeah, so you can see like all the magma traveling around and like, yeah, it's not real, but like, it's good. And look, uh, look at the breathtaking view as well. Like, look at the fossil. And look at that. It's like, and look at this. These are all the constellations. So yeah. Agents of change mark the Earth's landscape, changing it relentlessly in the passage of time. So it's like, a, I don't know if you can move this. No, you can't move this. But yeah, it's like a wind meter, so like a, yeah. From gentle breezes to ferocious cyclones, from the pattern of rain to raging torrents. Hmm. The measure of its own. So all of this measures it, uh, everything. So. When we start moving, the pressure stops moving. Yeah, but it's not, you know, it's already high, but the only thing is the, the velocity will change. Look, the, 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 because that's how you make electricity out of water. Yeah. Because obviously, when you move in water, water's kind of producing that energy. And now imagine this in the sea. Yeah. The on a larger scale as well. Much larger scale. Yeah. And if you have something sitting on top of it, moving up and down. Yeah, it's, like it's gonna cause tsunamis and like yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that's it. Then. Come on. Yo. That's it. The sun. The sun is the Earth's external heat engine driving processes of surface change. Big canyons, like the, they're called the spectacular goosenecks ca uh, canyon. Uh, and look, look how amazing it is. Sorry. Yeah.
damn look at that that's just showing the process of how all this works this is this is what Murali Pakta is mama a landscape of flat sweeping plains, deep valleys and towering mountains exists beneath the waves of the open sea. Let's, let's, let's do this. So, nice. like marble or all the designs in the marble they created like this so and you have reservoirs of all the, the water is sometimes like uh, like controlled in the reservoir uh, and stuff like that so that's the carbon cycle and how that works 